Good morning, everybody. I figured today before I go to work, I will do my everyday makeup routine since I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, sorry if you hear John or Nate in the background. They're doing a 24-hour stream and I'm trying to show my support for that. <laughs> Although I have to go work eight hours today. Um, but they'll be in the background and I will just talk you through my normal makeup routine. Let's get into it. All right, so I don't usually use a moisturizer, but I do put like um, lotion on my face. Is Nivea that has been in pretty sure both of my videos now. So I just put that all over my face, and then I start applying the CoverGirl Tube Blend Hydrating Smoothing Natural Finish Foundation. I am in the color L1 because I am super super pale. The foundation is really really nice. It is not a full coverage, but I don't I don't like the full coverage thing. This works really nice. It makes my skin just like smoother. It doesn't look as red like it does now. And that's why I like it. I don't really go for a full coverage. I usually do about two pumps. That's usually about enough, depending. I don't know where I got this um, beauty blender from. Pretty sure I got it in like a package from Ulta. It was like one of my free gifts or something and it actually works really nice. So if anybody actually knows where this is from, it's super soft. I'd like to know because I want to buy another one. See how nice this looks. All right, I'm gonna do the other half off of camera. And then I will be right back. I'm going to do my concealer next before I do my powder. This is the Hydrating Camo Concealer. The Satin Finish by e.l.f. I'm in the color Fair Warm, which is honestly, it might be a little bit too dark. But it works because I kind of use it as like build up of my foundation on the spots that need it. John, stop screaming. He's playing a forest game, yelling. <laughs> I could just turn him down, but <laughs> who wants to do that? The only thing I don't like about this is it smells so weird like ah and it's strong smelling i feel like it's probably what bothered i feel like it's probably what bothers my eyes throughout the day now that i think about it so i may not be using this again because it the smell is just too strong so if you know it, any other really good concealers comment them down below Alright, next I'm going to put on my setting powder. I use this Tarte one that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. So good, guys. I'm so, so happy that this came in my thing so I could try it. It's the Shape Tape Setting Powder in Translucent. And I have a year to use it, so that's awesome. I kind of just put this everywhere to keep my foundation in place especially because I'm going to work eight hours and I open today so much much needed for my face next I'm gonna do my eyes but I think I'm just gonna do like what I did yesterday just natural color on some mascara Probably good with the eyes maybe some highlight on the inner corners but I'm probably gonna use this one again today and put it just on my eyelids call it good these are from Farah so f-a-r-a-h and they came I think there's one more in this set. they came in like a set of five guys they're seriously so soft 
This one is so nice for like highlight on here. I know it says it's for a while. I think it's a blending brush. Yeah, the 35E tapered blending. It's literally like, I don't like a lot of highlight, but this works so nice. You just put some on and call it good. My go-to ones right now are the 205 Fly Wings brush and the, it says three mini tapered blending. That's weird, but I really like these two. Just a little natural shade. I might add a little shimmery one on top. Let's do it. I'm gonna add this shimmery one right here onto my eye too. I don't know if you can tell, but to add it just the smallest amount of shimmer. have the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous, Voluminous, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, um, Carbon Black, it's the black one with the gold on it, this is probably my favorite mascara of all time, I can't even remember how much it was, I don't even think it was that much, maybe like 10 bucks. Alright, so now I'm going to do my blush, which I just started wearing maybe a week ago when I got this in the mail. It's the Lovecraft Beauty Blush. It's super, like, cute. It came with this brush, too. I bought it through the Ipsy app. This is the BWX 255 Accentuate Brush from Moda Pro. This brush, seriously, is the perfect blush brush it's a darker pink i don't know what's up with this shadow but we're gonna ignore that see that oh that's so pretty yes now i'm gonna use this Too Faced highlighter for my inner corners. And let me tell you, this is the best highlighter I have ever found. And I got it given to me, like, slightly used from people I knew. Um, probably about a year ago, so I'm sure. Actually, it's been probably about two years since I got this given to me, if not longer. So this is probably expired. But it's too pretty for me to ever throw away. Look how pretty that is. Oh my. I'm gonna just put this on using the 205 Fly Wings brush. So this is my finished makeup look. I do this just about every day. Any day I feel like putting on makeup anyways, which is usually at least five out of the seven days a week. This is the finished makeup look. I got my blush, foundation. So pretty. I just did like a classic look on my eyes, as you can see. Nothing too special. Super, super pretty. I will take a video of all the products at the end if you want to try any of them. Um, I highly recommend any of them, especially if you want to do makeup on a budget because I don't spend very much money on makeup. I don't ever really buy high-end products, but I make, I think I make the uh, lower-end ones work. And any of the higher-end ones I do have, I got through my Ipsy subscription, which I highly recommend using. Alright, this is everything I used in my everyday makeup look. I hope everybody has a great day, and that's all for the video. Bye!